Hello guys, did you know I have a free repository on GitHub called Laravel Tips? It's just random tips and tricks around Laravel, divided into sections by Eloquent and other stuff, in total 194 short tips. And in this video I will present some new ones. So I asked my colleague Narius to gather last two months of tips on my Twitter or YouTube and quite a big part of those come from you guys on Twitter where I retweet someone else's tip. And here's a new pull request which added 37 new tips. So the total number is from 157 to 194. So I will link the actual pull request of this change in the description below. And in this video I will present you five random tips which I've chosen to be like most interesting or most groundbreaking for myself. So let's begin with this one. Simple way to see the database. I will zoom it in a bit more. So if you have an SQL file, you don't need to run migrations or seeds or anything. You just do file get contents and then do db unprepared, which will be just dumping from the SQL without any filtering or eloquent or anything. I still prefer to have migrations if possible and seeds, but in some cases it's just import from SQL and you can move on with your project. And by the way, I started adding the links to the actual Twitter tips. So if it's from Twitter from somewhere, it should be linked and you will see the original tweet. Maybe you can reply or retweet or something like that. Tip number two is blade components properties. And this is how you can make the actual blade code, HTML code be much more readable. So you have a button component and rounded property which is true or false by default it is false so if that property is not passed then that class would not be applied otherwise it will be applied and the actual html or blade actually file is extremely readable because of that so that's an example of blade components properties tip number three is about route helper and a third parameter which i didn't know myself so thanks to oliver to letting us all know i'm not actually sure in what case it would be useful it's more like a cool thing but maybe sometimes it is useful for you to have route to not the full page but only have the url part after the domain so if you add the false parameter you will get this result and in general laravel helpers sometimes have the parameters which are not documented or not obvious so i advise you to sometimes to go to php storm if you use php storm just click on the function it will take you to the vendor folder to laravel framework generally usually and you will see all the hidden parameters like this one Tip number four is about array helper in Laravel, array class with a lot of helpers actually. And one of those helpers is two CSS classes. So look at that example. We have an array and some of those array keys depend on true or false values of the variables. And if you call two CSS classes, it will transform the string with CSS classes divided by space. So you would be able to just use those classes as variable. And in general, that array helper array class has quite a lot of features. So you can go to helpers page of official Laravel documentation. And I will link that in the description below. So here's how many functions are around arrays. There are also strings, fluent strings, URLs, and various stuff. So again, look for the link in the description below. And finally, tip number five, which is currently the last in the whole list of repository, is that you can run shell commands like this one from your Laravel scheduler. So you can run not only artisan commands or some jobs or some classes, but you can directly do exec of course be careful with that because not all shell commands are safe and be careful with the parameters but you can do that from laravel and that's it for this time five random chosen tips you can look for all 194 tips in the repository and if you want more in-depth content not just random tips here's a link in the repository to my laravel courses which is currently 21 courses at the moment and the best way to get them all is to subscribe to yearly membership for $99 per year plus taxes plus VAT if that applies to you. You will get all the courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. Upcoming and still in 2021 it's Eloquent Performance and GraphQL for sure and maybe one more course in 2021 but I'm not sure. I will try to make it work. So if you want to be a part of that subscribe to yearly membership and see you guys in other videos free videos here on YouTube.